In this video, I want to talk about uh, the expected value of a random variable. Now, a random variable is defined as a variable which cannot be predicted in advance. So what do I mean by that? Suppose if you toss a coin, uh, there are two outcomes. Okay, now you can't, if it's a fair dice, it's not possible to predict whether you're going to get a head or a tail. So uh, if suppose you call the head as one and say the tail as zero, there are two random variables, one or zero. Suppose in the same case, suppose if you throw a, throw a die, there are six outcomes uh, and each of the outcome can be considered as a random variable because you cannot in fact predict uh, what's the outcome going to be when you throw a dice. But using statistics, we can find the expected value of a random variable. So what are we going to talk? We're going to talk about the expected value of a random variable. Expected value of a random variable. Okay, now to explain the maths of a random variable. Okay, so let's uh, imagine that we have a population. Uh, let me use a different color. Uh, say the population that we have has, say, numbers like 4, 4, 4, and say 5 and 6. Suppose this is the population that we have. Uh, and suppose let's find the mean of this or the average of this. So the mean would be, say, x bar. This is the formula of mean which you should be knowing which is sigma xi over n. xi is the variable and n is the number of uh, variables. So here what we do is you add them. So that is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. So imagine this is you throw a die say 5 times and this is the outcome that you get. You get uh, 4 3 times, 5 once and 6 once. So the mean of this population would be the sum of this divided by 5. So, well, that is, this is how much? 12 plus 11, isn't it? This is 12 plus 11 over 5, which is, say, 23 over 5, which is 46 over 10, which is 4.6. So, that is the mean. This is the simple idea of mean. Now, let us see whether we can write this in a different way. Suppose sigma x bar, and look at this in a different way. Well, this is this is 4 plus 4 plus 4. There are three lots of 4. So, well, I can say this is 3 times 4. Plus, I got 5 once. So I can say, well, that is 1 times 5. Plus, 6 is 1 times 6 over 5. I'm just manipulating these uh, these numbers. So what will happen now? So this is the same as, uh, this is distributing this 5. So this is 3 fifth times 4 plus 1 fifth times 5 plus 1 fifth times 6. So we want to get the same answer, but just we are manipulating. There is a reason behind this. So this is say, this is 3 fifth is 4, uh, this is 6 tenths, which is 0.6 times 4 plus this is 2 out of 10 which is 0 0.2 0 0.2 times 5 plus 0 0.2 times 6 so this is very interesting now let's I'll talk so this is say let us can we get the same answer okay so let's use the calculator uh, so this is 0 0.6 mm, so this is say 0 0.6 times 4 plus 0.2 times 5 plus 0.2 times 6. That will give you the same answer. Well, what's interesting here is if you look at this 0 0.6, if you think about 0 0.6, this is 60%. Okay, so this is 20% and this is also 20%. Or if you think about this, if someone is asking you what's the probability of say getting four in this experiment though suppose this is the whole population the probability of getting four in this population is 
3 out of 4, which is nothing but 0.6. Okay, the probability of getting phi, the probability of getting phi is 1 out of phi, which is 0.2, and the probability of getting 6 is again 1 out of 5, which is 0.2. So yeah, once we write in this form, we can say, well, if we know the probability, so this is nothing but 0 0.6 is nothing but the probability of getting 4. 0 0.2 is the probability of getting uh, the probability of getting 5. And this is nothing but the probability of getting 6. So if you multiply the probability of the number times the random variable, this is the random variable, you get the mean. So expected value has this formula. So it looks fancy, but it is nothing but uh, average. So expected value, this is how you write, the expected value of a random variable x is also denoted by a mu, this is also called mu, or this is the population mean, which is nothing but uh, the formula uh, is, in some books you may have the formula like this, so this is sigma i from 1 to n, this is, looks fancy, but this is nothing but average, so i, which runs from 1 to n, of xi, which is the random variable, xi times times the probability of the random variable xi. So this is uh, how you get the uh, expected value. Expected value is nothing but mean. So where this is this is p of xi, which is the probability of the random variable times the the random variable. So what we have, so this and this are one and the same. If you think about this, so what you do is you multiply the probability with the random variable, or each random variable is multiplied by, uh, by its respective probability, and then you add them, you get the expected value. And as we saw just now, this is nothing but this is nothing but point uh, four point six, which is same as adding the adding the random variables and dividing by the number of variables. Okay, so let's do one example to illustrate this. So here, calculate the expected value x defined by the probability distribution. Say this is, uh, these are five numbers, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Probably this is a die which is tossed which has got numbers from 5 to 25, a five-sided dice, and these are the respective probabilities. So as we just saw, expected value, this is how you write, uh, x is the random variable here, is, uh, let me write the formula, so this is sigma i from 1 to, in this case it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 1 to 5 of xi, and probability of xi i runs from 1 to 5. So this is this is your x1. You can call this as your x1. This is your x2 and x. This is, you need to be familiar with the notation. So xi is the general here. So this is x1. x1 is phi and this is p of x1. This is p of x1. So I'll write one more. So this is x2 and this is the probability of x2. So what does this mean? So in other words, sim in simple language, the probability of getting 5 was 0.1. The probability of getting 10 was 0.2 and so on. So to find the expected value, what we do is you sim simply multiply the random variable by its respective probability. So this is 5 times 0.1 and then you have to add them because sigma stands for addition plus 10 times 0.2 plus 15 times uh, 0.2 again plus 20 times 20 times 20 times 0.4 and plus 25 times 0.1 25 times 0 0.1 so let's get the calculator out so this is let me cancel this 5 times 0.1 plus 10 times 0.2 plus 15 
times again 0 0.2 plus 20 times 0 0.4 plus 25 times 0 0.1 okay that will give you 16 so the expected value uh, is to get 16 now mathematic uh, logically um, if you look at the answer what we are saying is the probability is of getting 16 is is likely so the average of this is nothing but 16